world's toughest race, a record 12 times. First, with super select four-wheel drive. First, with a plug-in hybrid electric SUV. And now, Australia's first 10-year warranty with 10 years cap price servicing for more confidence than ever before. Mitsubishi Diamond Advantage, built and backed to the time of your life. RBT. Didn't turn down here because there was a booze bus set up. No, not at all. Or a possible drug bus. I'm going to look at that car just there, especially. If you think you're over, then you shouldn't drive, and the best practice is not to drink and drive at all. It's the biggest mistake in my life. Hopefully, mate, this will be just uh, another wake-up call, and this might be just the, the next impetus for you. And the police do a very good job. I see that all the time on RBT. Turn it off, don't touch anything. Looks like it's come back positive trace of methamphetamine or MDMA. You look drunk, sound drunk, smell drunk. You got a one-way ticket to jail, mate. Scouring the streets for drink and drug drivers is often a lesson in human behaviour. The time, the day, even the suburb, are all clues to what the punters are up to. Now we sort of pass that dinner time thing now. Wow, that's big. A lot of them will be leaving for the bokies. Officers Verhoeven and Edmonds lay low outside a Croydon hotspot in an unmarked car. Not working night shift at a hotel up being not long. Can't imagine anything more than this. But tonight, it's not just the pokey players the police have their sights on. Jesus Christ, bingo must have finished. Mm. Wonder if we get that white you. Bingo players may not fit your typical profile of a drink driver, but you can't always judge a book by its cover. Some Constable Edmonds from the Drug and Alcohol Unit, how are you? Good. <laughs> the chirpy customer is 60-year-old retiree Ross. Where have you come from tonight? I've just picked my wife up from bingo at the door oh, for nice. garden. Oh, nice. Did you have any luck? No. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I know. No matter the hardship, Ross has always looked on the bright side. What did you do for work? I was a motor mechanic, and then I got sick of that, so I became a tractor operator. Oh, fair enough. And then I got very sick, so I had to give up work. I had aggressive bowel cancer. Oh, no. All good now. I still give people their shits, but I'm OK. <laughs> Mostly me. <laughs> Ross loves a joke, but his material is mostly R-rated. Oh, I don't think they're safe for TV. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty certain they're not safe for TV. <laughs> I'll give you a, an uh, exhibition that will be beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> he may just be high on life, but Constable Edmonds can't take his word for it. The reason we stopped you today is just for a random drug and alcohol test. You know what? Have you had anything to drink tonight? Yep. What have you had? Oh, I've had ouzo and coke. Ouzo and coke? Yeah. So just one long, continuous breath until I say stop. Yeah, no problem. Keep going, keep going, stop. A fiery 80-proof liquor Uzo packs a punch. Good shit, eh? <laughs> While his wife was calling Legs 11 at the bingo, was Ross getting legless? Monday morning in St Albans, and the time is ripe to catch drivers with a weekend hangover. Any sort of plan about what we're doing now? Just intercept cars, look for druggies intercept cars. A booze bus is on the main road, and drivers trying to avoid it are in for a surprise. Well, we've got a booze bus set up down the street, and this is the only available diversion point for drivers, so we've set up here to, I guess, catch people that might be trying to avoid booze bus down the road. It's not long before drivers and excuses start rolling in. Sorry, your licence is at home. Yeah. You just said you live here. Are you all good? Of course. Yeah, you're a good boy? I never drink. Never drink. On her way to the post office, this driver made her own special delivery. Stop right there, if you would. See that um, 
letterbox, yeah. you, you just about hit it. Oh. You, you're not doing, doing terribly good, are you? No, because I'm full of the flu. Full of the flu. Police need to make sure she's not full of anything else. So lips around, blow out. Blow, 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 blow. My husband's at home with man flu, so I just have to come out and get a bit of shopping and um, go home and get ready for work. The typical woman, we just keep going. With a zero alcohol reading, the brave battler can soldier on. So back, back, drive up the court, drive out. Be safe. OK, have a nice day, guys. As one yellow car clears, another swings into action. Hello. Why did we drive down here? Go around the traffic. It's in a court. Yeah. You got your oh, license? Have you got your license with you? Uh, yeah. After knocking off from work, concreted Jesse took a slight detour. Didn't turn down here because there was a booze bus set up. No, not at all. No. Or a possible drug bus. No. Uh, I'm just going to run a few checks and I'll be back in a sec. Hi, mate. How are you? What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. You had one of these before? Um, you know how it works? Yeah. Yeah, so I just need one long continuous breath through the straw, please, Jesse. Do it, thank you. Do you have a story behind this? That your mascot on the front there? Uh, yeah, I've got six kids, so. Struggling to explain his presence in a dead end street and zero for alcohol, Jesse's not out of the woods yet. Have you had any drugs recently? In Springvale, a massive traffic operation is at full blast, with police checking 10,000 drivers over a two-day blitz. Random breath testing tonight. At that rate, there's bound to be some hairy moments. You've got a spider crawling around on the oh, top of your oh, car. Oh, hey, oh, <laughs> You can keep that. Something to be wary of when you uh, park the car. OK, All thanks. Right, see ya. OK, bye. Impaired drivers are another thing to be wary of, like this 55-year-old who's blown 0.052 roadside. Over the limit? Over the limit. The factory worker drove a friend home after a couple of drinks, but by doing a mate a favour, he didn't do himself one. I'm um, so sorry. Um, I'm in, I, I know I'm, I'm in big trouble. Unless he's as sober as he is sorry, remorse won't help him back at the booze bus, where leading senior constable Warren awaits. Have a seat down there for you. Thank you. I just have to ask you some questions, OK? Mm -hmm. How much have you had to drink tonight? One bottle of Corona and one shot of uh, black label. So when you drove the car, yeah. did you think that you might be over? Not really, really drunk, but I, I, I know I, I, uh, I'm over the limit. OK. Jumping behind the wheel after a beer and whiskey chaser, the 55-year-old seems ready to face the music, but facing his wife could be much worse. How long have we been married for? I'd say... 33 years. Been married for 33 years? Yeah. Oh, it? You'd say, I don't think your wife would be very impressed if, she, if you couldn't say how long you've been married for. <laughs> there is a saying that marriage is the bond between a person who never forgets anniversaries and another who never remembers them. Big breath. Blow, 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 blow. Fine. Well done. With his alcohol level on a knife's edge, forgetting his anniversary will be the least of his troubles. They're going to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> New South Wales entering the cauldron. For the first time in origin history. My God! It's got it! Sport's greatest rivalry oh! will be decided. Oh! And they pick him up and put him down. In a three-week blockbuster. Spectacular origin try. Blues win three in a row. State of Origin, November 4 on 9. What matters most to you? Is it the place you call home? Or a life on the land? Is it looking after your best worker? Or the business you put everything into? Or a game that brings us together? What is money for, if not for this? Nap. More than money. 
At Coles, you can lower the cost of your weekly shop with thousands of specials across the store this week. Like Australian made and owned Jalna Farm to Pot Organic Yogurt 1 Kilo, now $7. Coles, value the Australian way. As the world's energy needs grow, we'll need multiple sources of power, like wind power. But to do that, we'll need more copper. Like the copper proudly produced by the men and women of BHP. Because it's the four tonnes of copper in each and every wind turbine that makes it possible to turn wind power into electric power. Think big. The mark of the match. 60 metres out. I kicked that punch ball so hard it split like an old shoe. That's right, a seven-pointer to win the match. There's your furphy. What happens to all the dirt on your dishes? It flows in your dishwasher, affecting its cleaning performance. Add Finish In-Wash Dishwasher Cleaner. It cleans your dishwasher while your dishwasher cleans your dishes. Try Finish In-Wash Dishwasher Cleaner today. This is the moment that I'll live for. It's coming back. Got it. 18-16. Being a part of history. James Tedesco. Yeah, it's all pretty surreal. Pull on the jersey with your name on the back is something that I'll never forget. Look at talent! Look at talent! State of Origin just has so many of those moments. Look at this. It's just the magic in State of Origin. The new car smell. An intoxicating mix of leather, freshly laid carpet and upholstery. Irreplaceable, right? Well, not quite. With GIO's Platinum Car Insurance, when you continually insure your car with us within the first year of buying it new, if it's ever written off, we'll replace it with a brand new one, no matter how old it gets. <sighs> Welcome back, old new friend. Call 13 10 10 today. You know, with GIO. This program is brought to you by an Australian first. Mitsubishi Diamond Advantage. Built and backed for the time of your life. In Croydon, police pulled over 60-year-old Ross after he picked up his wife from bingo. And the Thank police you. do a very good job. I see that all the time on RBT. <laughs> 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 Sorry, babe. <laughs> he is as merry as the day is long, but after knocking back some potent liquor... Oh, that. Who's on coke? Who's on coke? Yeah. The reason know. he's full of beans could be that he's full of grog. Stop. Hi, Mum and Dad. <laughs> no, I never drink drive. You'll never get made to drink drive. <laughs> the comedian's in the clear. But if he's taken anything else, the joke will be on him. Have you ever done one of these drug tests before? Yep. OK, so what you need to do is just run your tongue around your mouth three times, touching both of your cheeks, just in a circular motion. One. Yep. Two. <laughs> three. That's good. Perfect. All right, now you just need to put these two, run those two pink parts down the she bottom half of your tongue. Yeah. Just those two oh, bits yeah. on the end. Yep. Yep, Where just, do I run them? just on the bottom half of your tongue. Bottom on the top. No, no, sorry, on the top. Down there. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. That's enough for months. Oh. Right. Thank you. Not a problem. Ross is a dutiful husband to his wife, but if the baby boomer's been getting high on the side, <laughs> he could be spending tonight on the couch. Have I failed yet? No, oh, not yet. Oh, Still good. doing its thing. <laughs> that one's all good tonight. No Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for the laughs. Bye, Mum and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. Good <laughs> Ross, eh? <laughs> My first impressions, I thought uh, he might actually be in trouble. Oh, there, definitely, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uzo's very strong. Yeah. <laughs> but i tell you what, uh, <laughs> he was a character. <laughs> Officers Bova and Hode are heading south to the port city of Geelong, known for its cars. The old Ford factory. And its cats. So Geelong's my footy team? Oh, yeah. Who's your team? 
Oh, I'll go from Hawthorne. My oldest son, Barracks for Collingwood, and my youngest, he Barracks for Richmond. And of all the teams to choose, Collingwood and Richmond. There's only so much you can do raising your kids, but at least when Sergeant Bob is in uniform, people listen. As the night closes in, they stake out a pub car park. But their attention is drawn to a pea plater cruising past. I'm going to look at that car just there, Ashley. Commodore that went around the corner. to my thoughts. Is he taking us through the drive through This driver is capping off his night with a breath test instead of a happy meal. Had anything to drink tonight? No, uh, no. Big breath into the straw. Just five minutes from home, the 23-year-old is training to be a plasterer. I'm on the fourth year now, and then, yeah, I finish at the end of the year, so... If this apprentice spent the weekend getting plastered, it's his record that'll need smoothing over. That's fine. Now, have you done a drug test before? Uh, no, I haven't. OK, those two tabs there. Just make sure they scrape down your tongue. What have you been up to tonight? Uh, nothing too much. I just sent a mate up in town. I was just telling a cigarette because she needed someone to be. Like, she, she was a bit upset and stuff, so needed yeah. to see her, so. A friend in need is a friend indeed. But if he had more than a ciggy, he may need a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> 38-year-old concreter Jesse took a dead-end detour just before the booze bus. Hello. Why did we drive down here? Cementing himself into the hands of police. In a court. Yeah. You got your no, license? Have you got your license with you? Uh, yeah. You can try your best to, you know, duck down a side street or whatnot, but we'll be there. He blew zero for alcohol, but police need more concrete evidence to back their suspicions. The second part I'd say, mate, will involve uh, what's called a preliminary oral fluid test. Yeah. Run your tongue around your mouth. Scrape it from the back to the front, please. All the way to the front. All the way along your, along your tongue, yeah? I want to see it on your tongue. Yeah, all the way to the front and off. All right. So you haven't had any drugs recently? No. On the weekend? No. When was the last time? Uh, maybe six months ago. Jesse's test looks like it's come back positive. Uh, a positive trace of methamphetamine or MDMA. So I'm just going to inform him of that result. Jesse insists he's drug free and comes up with a unique reason that his test turned positive. Can you explain the positive reading? No, there's anything show up that's... I did watch uh, Cherry Ripe, which the espresso go off. Cherry Ripe? I haven't had that one. The cracks are appearing in Jesse's story, and for police, blaming a Cherry Ripe is hard to swallow. Resident under attack. It's a hoax. Are you? That's enough. Put down the mic. That's enough. That's no, enough. The Trump Show. Tuesday after the block on nine. We can help you create your own backyard resort. Eco Deck only sixteen sixty seven per linear meter. Holman Deck lights just eighty three dollars. Where you find a competitor's lower price on the same stocked item, we'll beat it by ten percent. Shop at Bunnings wherever you are, whenever you want. Voltar and Osteogel 12 hourly for a joint pain. I shall start exercising again. With just two applications a day, Voltar and Osteogel 12 hourly gives you joint pain relief for the whole day and all night. Actually, exercise is not so bad. Voltaren, the joy of movement. Our fiery new McSpicy is too good to keep to ourselves. So we're giving you one for free. With McDelivery orders $25 or more. See you in app for details. One little thing. What's one little thing going to do? But what if that one little thing wasn't a lonely little thing? Instead, that one little thing was just one of lots of one little things. Lots of one little things that together are many big little things. 
solving many big, big problems. Then, that one little thing isn't such a little thing. That one little thing can change the world. IKEA. That's when little mama came to steal and lust. Whoa, she off the rake to scale, she had me shut. Right, yeah, and we could cut it up. Last year, Suncorp helped over 6,000 families refinance their homes, making your house more home. That's the Suncorp spirit. <laughs> Turn your face into an epic reminder for this Wednesday and get a queen-size bed frame with a flexi-slat base for $229, a queen-size bamboo charcoal-infused mattress protector for $49.99, and a two-drawer mid-century bedside table for $49.99. Only at Aldi. Good. Different. I know I'm, I'm in big trouble. After blowing just over the limit roadside during a major police blitz, this 55-year-old earned himself a free ticket to the booze bus. Hey, Wani. No, he's only 55. I reckon you're looking 55. in pretty good nick, sort of. <laughs> Look at me, I'm falling for him a bit, sort of. Thing. I'm only a couple bit. of years uh, Thanks, uh, officer. Yeah. So, he does, he does a, a thousand a steps bit. four days a week. Really? A thousand oh, steps yeah, four yeah, days a week. Gonna kill me. It's uh, <laughs> as simple, simple as that. If only the Fitbit could count his drinks. This is a breath analyzing instrument. Big breath. Blow, 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 blow. Fine. At least if he ends up losing his license, the 55 year old will be fit enough to walk. The result of analysis shows you have a breath alcohol concentration of 0 0.060, which is in excess of the prescribed limit. But he's more worried about his wife. She's not going to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that her calling now? Yes. Well, we have a couple of minutes if you want to answer the phone. If you want to answer the phone call, just let her know you're safe at uh, least. Probably wondering where you are. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> With thoughts of an unhappy wife at home, the driver makes a last-ditch plea. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I can understand that. It's the biggest mistake in my life. <laughs> Driving with the alcohol content in my body. Something to think about before driving. One slip up and it's big strife with the wife. If you think you're over, then you shouldn't drive. And the best practice is not to drink and drive at all, uh, even if you think you're under. Hello, why did we drive down here? In a dead end street in St Albans. Didn't turn it down here because there was a booze bus or a possible drug bus. No. Concreted Jesse has run oh. into a brick wall. The result of the preliminary oral fluid test indicates that your oral fluid contains a prescribed illicit drug. He's struggling to explain his positive results. Right. I did like uh, cherry ripe. It's the espresso go off. Cherry ripe? I don't even know that one. Not only is he struggling to convince oh, police, oh. he's also struggling to complete the secondary test. That's all right, mate. It takes, some people, it takes up to an hour. Really? Mm-hmm. Hopefully not you, but... Unfortunately, one of the side effects of uh, methamphetamine use is um, a dry mouth. Does that make your mouth water, if you think of your favourite food? Mm. A nice, freshly prepared area for concreting. <laughs> Rio's all nice and level. <laughs> <laughs> that makes your mouth sore? Yeah, I, might, I don't know. 
Okay. Fine. Okay. Ugh. Well, I haven't taken it knowingly. I didn't go out and do anything, so I really don't know. So the result of the test shows you have methamphetamine or MDMA, a prescribed illicit drug in your oral fluid. There's two lines on the bottom one. Yeah. Line to the left is indicating a positive test for methamphetamine. The result leaves the Cherry Ripe theory in tatters. We're done. He'll send you something in the mail. If it's positive at the lab, you'll get, uh, he'll send you a penalty notice. So read it carefully, get the dates right. To have people that are impaired by illicit drugs driving motor vehicles, it's, uh, it's just, it's not a good combination. Now, have you done a drug test before? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. No? In Geelong, police pulled over a 23-year-old Pete Plater for a random drug test. How's the rest of the weekend been? Uh, pretty chilled. Just, yeah, I slept all like, yesterday, so missed out on everything. I got those two tabs there. Sleeping to catch up or sleeping something off. Either way, a drug test will expose any ripples in the plasterer's story. I now require you to accompany me to the testing vehicle, so just make sure your car's off. Staring down the barrel of a secondary test, the young driver comes clean. Have you consumed any drugs, illicit drugs recently? Yes. And what drug have you taken? I just know. How long have you been? using um, meth for? Uh, two years or so. Two years using makes it a hard habit to kick. And what's that done for you? Nothing but bad. Nothing but bad? When we've got enough saliva and you're ready, just grab that out of there. That's it. So just wipe it down your tongue on both sides. That's it. And then in your mouth underneath your tongue. All right, just take it out again, mate. Yeah, that would do. And when you drove tonight, did you think you shouldn't be driving after I've just had some? Yeah. Should have stuck with my gut feeling. Hoping to get back with his ex and finish his apprenticeship, this is one time he should have listened to his gut. This news alert brought to you by Sportsbet's Trump Hub. Find a huge range of markets and bet on the US election with Sportsbet. Good evening. Heavy rain and destructive winds have smashed Sydney today, downing trees, power lines and causing landslides. Australia's Foreign Minister is demanding answers over the grossly disturbing strip search of 13 Australian women at a Qatar airport. Shops, pubs, cafes and restaurants are set to reopen at midnight tomorrow as Melbourne emerges from lockdown. And the Panthers' Nathan Cleary has blamed himself for the grand final loss to the storm. The late news, 11 o'clock. Watch Sky Racing live anywhere now available on Sportsbet. That's when Lil Mama kept you still in lust. Whoa, she off the rake the scale, she had me shut. Yeah, and we could cut it up. When you choose hospital cover with NIB, you're choosing to control your health cover. That means you can avoid public hospital waiting lists, decide when and where you get treated, and pick the specialist that you trust the most. You can choose from a range of cover options to match your needs and budget, plus choose to save now or later with a range of excess levels. Get peace of mind and search NIB today. It's worth it.
your face into an epic reminder for this Wednesday. And get a queen-size bed frame with a flexi-slat base for $229, a queen-size bamboo charcoal-infused mattress protector for $49.99, and a two-drawer mid-century bedside table for $49.99. Only at Aldi. Good. Different. James Squire, Broken Shackles, Refreshing Lager. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Born free to follow your heart. Links, smell ready. Australia's Air Tasker disaster. This little hole destroyed my apartment. Joanne just wanted a new shelf, but it turns out this handyman wasn't so handy. It could have been lethal. He did a run and left neighbours to clean up. I chased after him. Now, who foots the bill? A current affair tomorrow. In Geelong, a 23-year-old apprentice admitted to taking meth an hour before driving. What made you want to take some drugs tonight? Mate called me. Yeah. She needed someone to talk to. And told her to come over, like, tomorrow morning. She's like, no, we can go to town. So I just drove to town, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's a stupid mistake. Lending a hand to a friend has landed this plasterer in a hole. And after what he says is two years using ice, he can't see an easy way out. Number one issue in Geelong have to leave the town to get away from it and get off it much. So it's the only way, I reckon, to get off it. That's it. So just wipe it down your tongue on both sides. Desperate to kick his habit, now he's kicking himself. All right, just take it out again, mate. Because he knows all too well how drug abuse ends. Just nothing good comes from it. Like, everything bad. It just happens, like, it's not positive. It's great to see that, you know, you are wanting to try and change your life and change it around. Still making those stupid decisions, though. Um, the result of the test shows that you have methamphetamine, or MDMA, a prescribed illicit drug in your oral fluid. How do you think the events of tonight's going to impact you going forward? It's horrible. Hopefully, mate, this will be just uh, another wake-up call. You Obviously, your ex has given you a wake-up call. And this might be just the, the next impetus for you to, you know, keep things moving in the right direction. It may seem like a long road ahead, but the 23-year-old has plenty of time to turn his life around. Senior constables Turner and Wandamu are scouting the local watering holes. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. But instead of the nightlife, the wildlife grabs their attention. Cheapers. It's not every day police spot a jaywalking koala. That was a close call for the poor koala, wasn't it? Yeah. Gee, that was so, so up close. That... He's up there. Yeah. In there. With the koala home and hosed, officers turn their attention back to vehicles. Let's see if any cars are living here. A blue land cruiser exiting a local pub piques their interest. This four wheel driver, because I want to wear him up here. Just put on the vent. Light him up, Teddy. Hi, go. Hey, guys, sir. Not too bad. Just uh, step back in the car for me. We'll be all right. <coughs> just Did I do something wrong? No, no, just more wild drivers. How are you going tonight? I'm well. Are your licence with you there? Yeah, I have. Thank you, sir. The 52-year-old Tony caught up with mates after work. All right, any drinks tonight? Uh, yeah, I've had a couple. Have a couple? All right, just what I get you to do is just blow softly in the mouthpiece and I'll tell you when to stop. OK. All right, let's go for it. Stop. So when the last time you had a drink? It just had one as I left. The question now is whether a couple of drinks was two or ten. All right, so you've provided a positive result. Uh, what we need to do, we need to take it to down the police station to do another test. Just jump out of the car for me. All right. So how many drinks did you have all up? Uh, probably about three cans. Three cans. Jim Beam. Oh, OK. How long were you at the pub? 
maybe half hour, full and five, okay. maybe an hour. Oh. You work, sir? I'm a painter and decorator. Is that all right? Just come this way, sir. Up since 6 a.m., this is not how Tony expected to end his work day. Just take a seat there, sir. I expected a bit of high reading from what he said and what uh, drinks he's finished. Probably the, in the borderline between losing a license or uh, getting a fine on the spot, so he may be in trouble. He may be in trouble. You're staying with a mate, are you? Yeah, I'm sort of going through a separation, mate. Oh, OK. Well, yeah. You know, I've had bugger all to eat today, too. Yeah, well, that doesn't help, mate. <laughs> Several bourbons on an empty stomach, and Tony has painted himself into a corner. In Adelaide's beachside suburbs, Senior Constable Scarce has a sixth sense about a ute exiting a roundabout at speed. God, that one. That one. Yeah, some spotty senses are tingling for this white ute. It's going to turn right. And there's a nice little edge there for us to grab him up. The Ute driver is 21-year-old landscaper Isaac. He's headed home after visiting family. How you going, mate? How's it there? Good. Beautiful. Where are you up to today, mate? I'm going to see my sister off before she goes to Sydney. Get some lasagna. Best lasagna I've ever had. Yep. Excellent. Have you had any alcohol at all today? No. no. All right, it's nice steady blowing the straw. One continuous breath, I'll say when to stop. Stop. Excellent. Okay. You still in the address on your license? Yeah. yeah. It's all zero, isn't it? We're also doing drug testing today. We don't need drugs, methamphetamines, cannabis, or MDMA, which is ecstasy. Yep. Yeah. Don't do any of those at all. I do. I um, did done something on the weekend. OK, what was that? Uh, uh, MDMA. Yep. Grab hold of that there for me. Just roll your tongue around side your mouth for me, and then swipe that down your tongue. Yep, drag it down. Just two days since the extra long holiday weekend could mean Isaac is not out of the woods yet. This takes about five minutes to give us a result. OK, so just hang tight for us, and I'll be back within a minute, OK? With police, honesty is the best policy. But is that party drug still in Isaac's system? Out on patrol in Adelaide's north, Officers Passaniti and Walwork are having one of those nights. We've stopped three cars, two positives. And that's just the start of their night. OK, so it says that a car's been hooning around and it's hit several parked cars and a street sign. So left onto Gold Street. Yep, OK, this is it. We've just been safe down here. They arrive at what's normally a quiet suburban street. First, police have to locate the driver. Where is he? Ah, uh, this guy. Worse for wear, the driver is slumped on the curb. Excuse me, mate. Yeah. Right, so you've been driving this car? Yeah. A street resident, he tried to move his car after an afternoon celebrating. Apparently a baby shower and decided to put the car in the carport, but must have done a lap around the street. Can you tell us what's happened today? Yeah, nothing in the prison yet. Nothing's happened? Yeah. Well, obviously been involved in a collision. Took a street sign out around the corner and then ricocheted off of our car into the neighbour's car. Do you have a wallet with you, or a licence or something with your name on it? Uh, no, I have in the not been here. Eventually got out of the car and then staggered around and managed to keep him here and call the police. All right, have you banged your head? Yeah. You banged your head. Do you want to see an ambulance? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Request an ambulance? While an ambulance is called, Senior Constable Walwork steers the driver towards the police car for a breath test. Just have a seat there, mate. You can just feed out. That's it. So that way, if you feel sick, you can be sick in the gutter. OK. I'm going to get you to blow yeah. through this straw. Have you done one of these before? Yeah, I have before, yeah. And just blow through the tube. Not too hard. Keep going, keep going. No, no, don't suck on it. Can you tell him not to suck on it? Not, just not enough. Just slow through. Enough. The driver's okay. friends and family help explain the process. I want you to repeat, keep going in your language to him, yeah? Okay. All right? Yeah. Great. Take a deep breath. Um, um, blow. 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 Yeah, Keep going. Keep putting his tongue in front of the mouthpiece. If the driver fails to give a reading, he'll be charged regardless with high range drink driving. And blow. Blow. 
Excellent, thank you. Great. There's little doubt that the driver is over the limit. Just how much is anyone's guess? For action-packed Monday nights of Blonde Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. It all starts with Casino Royale next Monday on 9. Time to think about school zones? See the possibilities on Domain. Golden Eagle, Saturday 31st of October, Rose Hill Gardens. face into an epic reminder for this Wednesday and get a queen-sized bed frame with a flexi slat base for $229, a queen-sized bamboo charcoal infused mattress protector for $49.99 and a two-drawer mid-century bedside table for $49.99. Only at Aldi. Good. Different. Introducing the new Google Nest Audio. But to someone who likes to work out hard... Hey, Google, turn it up. It's the workout intensifier. And this is the new Chromecast with Google TV. But to someone who can't decide what to watch... What should I watch? It's the content curator. And this is Google Nest Hub Max. But to someone who's cooking up a storm... Hey, Google, play Queer Eye on Netflix. It's the cooking companion. Whole home entertainment from Google. As free as the wind blows, born free to follow your heart. Links, smell ready. All right, uh, you've provided a positive result. Uh, what we need to do, we need to take you down to the police station to do another test. Just jump out of the car for me. North of Adelaide, after downing a few knockoffs, painter and decorator Tony blew mid range roadside. Just put what you see better on. Tony says he only had a few drinks, but that's after a long day on the tools. Did you have dinner? No, I haven't eaten since smoking. Okay. Uh -huh. It's 10 in the morning? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a sausage roll. Yeah, well, that doesn't help, mate. You, you need to get a bit of food and yeah, it helps keep the alcohol level down. All right. So it's going to be a late night tonight, was it? I only popped in and then caught up with a mate of mine. He works in the drive-through. and. Sunday off tomorrow then? Yeah, Sunday. I did. I haven't I've been working for like about three months and yeah. some silly ideas of being a painter actually. Oh. Yeah, so shit, I didn't even finish here at eleven. Oh. Straight into the building in the street. Yeah. Painting I think it's got I try to do a few rooms, but still when you lay down you can see the stuff up you do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it turns out this is not the first time Tony's been in this situation. When you got done last time, did you lose light sense or high yeah. was it low reading, was it? Or? Yeah, no, it was high reading. Was high reading? Yeah. yeah. Did you manage not with our license? It was very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty well much the start of the end, so. Yeah. That last offence was over five years ago, and it had a profound effect on Tony's personal life. I'll go and find the room, just stay in the car for a second. Sure. Oh, yeah. So you just had a bit of a bust up with your missus, have you? Uh, it's been about 12 months now. Yeah, I remember when I did mine, that wasn't too much fun. But... It all gets down to the communication of, of it all, you know? It's like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just fun. I suppose you haven't got everything all settled then, yet. No. 
Left him with the house and everything. Huh? Left him with the house and everything. You know the story, mate. You would have heard it a million times. We just got to try and continue on. I reckon it's harder now than I, when I was in my 20s. Tony may be down, but he's not out. <laughs> All right. And he doesn't want history to repeat itself. Just come this way, sir. Just that chair there. All right, now, direct, take a deep breath. Just push blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Thank you. Tony's license is his lifeline. To lose it again could mean he's back to square one. After celebrating at an afternoon party, a 37-year-old driver decided to take his car off the street. Request an ambulance. The trouble is, he took out a telegraph pole and sideswiped two cars in the process. Right. So what, what was that? Yeah, and I just said a massive bang somewhere outside. And then outside. someone pounded on the door. There's little doubt that this driver's had quite a few drinks. Right, take a deep breath. Um, blow, 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 blow. Excellent, thank you. And his alcohol reading should indicate how affected he may be. At this point in time, you are over the limit, OK? 0.218. That's more than four times the legal limit. It is a very, very high result. Borderline to the point you're looking at medical assessment. So he has all the hallmarks of being DUI, but it's just too difficult to say that those faculty impairments are a result of the alcohol and not as a result of the collision. Police decide to take him to hospital for his secondary blood test. He just minor collision, but uh, when we first turned up, he's got a very, very high uh, reading on the alcohol. Have you banged your head? Yeah. Yeah. Take the seat better. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, this way, mate. This way. If it's an accident and you're sober, well, then fair enough. But if you're drunk and driving around like an idiot, well, then yeah, it's not acceptable. Sam, seat there. Wow, oh, we're a little bit drunk. It's ridiculous. He shouldn't have been behind the wheel. Yes, it was an accident this one time, but who's to say it wouldn't happen again? The driver's now in safe hands and can recover in hospital. In the southern suburbs, police pulled over 21-year-old Isaac for a mobile drug test. You don't need drugs today, methamphetamines, cannabis or MDMA, which is ecstasy. I did have something on the weekend. OK, what was that? Yeah, uh, MDMA. Yep, yeah, just hang tight for us and I'll be back within a minute, OK? Hello. Admitting to a big night... He's um, had some MDMA on the weekend. It is the weekend. Isaac hopes any trace of the drug is long gone. Looks like we're doing a uh, oil fluid analysis. OK, Isaac, not good news, but yeah, it's come up positive to methamphetamine. All right, which it to, the methamphetamine also is MDMA, which is ecstasy. Yeah. All right, what are you going to do? Jump out. We're going to do the test here. All right. Just jump in here, mate. Have a seat. No, you don't need a seatbelt. When was the last time you used either methamphetamines or MDMA? Uh, we've been probably two, three days ago. In the meantime, thrill seeker Isaac caught a danger of a different kind. Shark fishing last night. Where'd you get in? Oh, mate, I went out kayak, put some chain oil out. Kayak? Oh, yeah. Shark fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Were you the bait? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know. <laughs> the lure. Yeah, it was out about 250 metres. I felt the kayak sort of slay a bit. I was just like... Uh, so I do it for a bit of adrenaline rush, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 15 minutes later, mate's rod snaps the PVC pipe that he had holding the rod up and took the rod, gone. So you lost the rod and reel? Yeah. Oh, no! No, no evidence and nothing. What do you do for a job? Uh, landscaping. So you obviously need your licence then. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Young party goers forget the risk they're taking days after taking MDMA. Now place the swab under your tongue and leave it there until I give you further instructions. People don't realise how long it stays in their system. They've used some. For Isaac, fishing for sharks is beginning to look like an easier thrill. 13 brothers and sisters, sisters. locked up in a house of horrors. Coming up next. <laughs>
The shocking revelations continue. Experts delve inside the minds of America's psychopath parents. Evil can be very clever. The Turpin 13, next on 9. At Care Super, we understand it takes hard work to outperform. For us, it's about adapting to deliver superior performance. That's how we've consistently outperformed other super funds over the long term. Let us entertain you with more live sky racing and US sport vision. Anytime, anywhere. Make a date with the edge of your seat this spring. Tab. Long may we play. Some see a personalised plate, just initials and a birth date. We see a family connection, a tradition that unites generations. More than a plate, it's a strong family bond. Create yours at myplates.com.au. As an Aussie business ourselves, we're there for local businesses big and small, supporting them for whatever the future brings. The energy within. AGL. Progress for life. All you need to launch a culinary empire. Tools you claim everyone has in their kitchen. They don't. And a Squarespace website where you can brag about how you never went to culinary school. Cars don't have feelings of inadequacy. People do. Thankfully, our logbook service comes with six months free roadside assistance at our 260 stores nationwide. My car, tire and auto. People first. This program brought to you by Ashley and Martin Medical Hair Centres. Make today your hair loss turning point. Okay, Isaac. Not good news, but no. yeah, it's coming up positive to methamphetamine. 21 year old thrill seeker Isaac crashed down to earth. Just jump in here, mate, have a seat. After testing positive for drugs, now he's facing his secondary test and the chance of losing his licence. Now place the swab under your tongue and leave it there until I give you further instructions. Yeah, so just push your tongue down on it. He yeah, seems like a fairly friendly uh, young lad. Um, doesn't seem too phased by what's going on. Flip it over. I'm confident that um, once he learns what's going to happen afterwards, um, his demeanour may well change. Although Isaac's on the wrong side of the law at the moment, Senior Constable Scarce realises they've got something in common. And the scary thing is... I actually remember the day you were born. Yeah, what you open that day? I got my licence. Did you? Yeah, yeah well, on that exact day. It's your birthday, it's the same as my birthday, just 16 years difference. Oh, the day I turned 16, I went and got my licence. Yeah, mm. how do you go? <laughs> Best day of my life. Something about be being one with the car. Yeah. Despite their rapport, it's soon back to business. You want your face off? Hang on, 2158, there we go. So what will happen is the sample will get sent off to Forensic Science yeah. Centre, yeah. analyse, and, it'll, and you'll get a result at the uh, address on your licence. Do you reckon uh, it'll be a lost licence? I would reckon? say so, yes. How long do you reckon, would you say? No idea. Let's bear in mind, if you get caught again, you'll have what's called alcohol and drug indicator on your licence. Oh. No second chances? So you got, you got to go to every court. Every time you check up my red road from now on, you will come up with that, yeah. Oh, well. Traffic laws don't discriminate between regular or occasional drug use. Hey, Isaac. Thank you. So police are keen to stress it's all seen as driving with drugs in your system. It's a bit of a wake-up call for him and other people that uh, may have taken a couple of days ago, but if it's still in your system, it's still in your system. At Holden Hill Police Station, painter and decorator Tony is polishing off his workday with a secondary breath test. What time was your first drink? About nine, I think, nine o'clock. OK. And when did you eat last and what did you have? I had a sausage roll at 10 o'clock this morning. OK. After what he claims was four bourbons on an empty stomach, he blew mid-range roadside. Please blow. 
keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Bang on five years since his last offence, Tony's just got a clean slate. Another mid-range reading now, and he's off the road again. That is good news and bad news. So your reading for tonight is 0 0.075. It's still over the legal limit, but instead of losing your license for six months, you just get on a spot fine tonight. Right. And just lose points. You're not allowed to drive for six hours, but at least you could go to work tomorrow and not losing your car and your license. All good? All good. All right. But look, it was just an oversight by myself, really. I should have maybe not had that extra drink. The cab organised, I was just to see you out there. Yeah, right. South of the city, there are reports of a suspect driver and police are on the case. Looking out for a maroon Camry, police soon spot the car. Right, these guys, up to get him out of the way. He's turning right, right, yeah. right. Sensing the driver is trying to give them the slip, it's time to get a move on. Despite pulling into a mate's house, the driver still has to comply with police. Hey, on, mate. Hey, 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 alcohol or drugs today? Ah, uh, smoke cones earlier this morning. Smoke yeah. cones earlier this morning. All right, well, let's come over here. Admitting to smoking cannabis, police still have to clear France for alcohol. I'll steady blow into the straw, and I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, and go. Stop. Cool, calm and cornered, Franz has no qualms about his breath test. It's all zeros. Cool. This uh, license, right? Uh, have you done drug tests before? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How long ago was the last, last cone? Uh, probably what, six or seven hours ago. All right, all right. It's, you know, it's offence to have it in your system when driving. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And you're on P's? Yeah. Uh, P2's, yeah. P2's. Have you been caught drug driving A while before? ago, yeah. Yeah, just cannabis? Yeah. Oh, no, there was once uh, about... Three and a half years ago, yeah. weekend out with the boys, had a few drinks, party a little bit, and yeah, came back in my system. Simple as that. Just a fine? Yeah, no, it was just a fine that I got there. A second offence would mean a date with the magistrate, loss of licence, and a hefty fine. All right, so grab hold of that, that there for me. Lick it down your tongue. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. All right, so just test for cannabis, methamphetamines, and MDMA, which is ecstasy. So you know the deal, but one line is negative, two lines is positive. All right. In South Australia, police regard cannabis as leaving the system after five or six hours. Nice and simple. Yeah. With breakfast bongs on board, Franz is borderline. All right, all good, mate. All negative. It's always, mate. Good to go. No worries, buddy. Franz has passed his test by the skin of his teeth. Take off for that. I swear that was on. Yeah, like casual drinker, but yeah, I'm smart about it. Don't drink and drive anyway, due to the fact my mother was killed by drink driving, and so oh, makes me feel hurt in a way. Missed out on something that I wish I could have had, but made me a better person in a sense. Made me the person I am today. Made me smarter about some of my decisions, at least, I guess. <laughs> For low-range drink driving, Tony was fined $673. He accrued four demerit points. For driving with drugs in his system, Isaac was fined $673 and lost his licence for a minimum of three months. The high-range driver was fined $260 for driving without due care. He was convicted of Category 3 drink driving and fined a total of $1,260. He lost his licence for 12 months. For driving a vehicle with a prescribed concentration of drugs, the apprentice's car and bike licence were cancelled. He was disqualified from driving for six months and fined $496.